Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, you join us today in a very summery Perth day. Uh, we're in a Cullinan right now, and uh, I know it's been a long time between drinks, between videos. Uh, I appreciate, or we all appreciate your patience when it comes to the uploads. Obviously, we're not full-time YouTubers. Uh, we do have uh, quite busy schedules, but we're glad that you're joining us today. Today is going to be a delivery day. You've seen Delivery Tour Part 1. We do have Part 2 and Part 3 ready to go, uh, and we'll be uploading those very shortly. Some complications with them, however, uh, we're very excited, very excited for you to see them. But focusing on today, we're picking up some new cars. We are going to the uh, Ferrari, sorry, the Lamborghini and Rolls Royce dealership, and we're picking up six brand new cars. Yesterday, we finally took delivery of the Countach, one of 12, 112 in the world, one of two in Australia. Uh, today, we're picking up a Cullinan, three Huracans, and a DBS 770 Volante, which is the convertible. Um, so yeah, we're gonna take you through today, and then after that, take you back to the showroom, show you in depth the cars. So we're about to go pick up Lawrence. We have Alpha here, who's freshly back from Europe, uh, getting our Lamborghini boats uh, prepared and ready. And uh, yeah, we're about to go pick up Lawrence, head to the dealership. Hello. How's <laughs> it good? Jet lag still? Yeah. Oh man, it's doesn't get much better, does it? No. So, what are you excited to take delivery of the most? It's always it's always a great day. No. They're all they're all awesome. Love them. Brilliant cars. <laughs> Couldn't have special. That's true. You'll probably get more excited about uh, yeah something today. Yeah, but the uh, the blue shadow is pretty, pretty unique. The blue shadow is that is quite cool. And Those the, stars. Um, the Aston convertible turned out really really good. I was a bit worried about that. Why worried? Oh, I wasn't have, sure. I couldn't faith. picture it. I couldn't picture it in real life. I think that's a... Today is an STO uh, Technica and an Evo Spider. Oh, is it the Technica 60s here? It's Technica 60. Ah, I didn't see the, didn't see the pictures of that. Yeah, I, no, another right. I don't even know what color it is. Yeah, I don't know. That's definitely ready today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Yeah, all three Huracans. And then you've got two Huracans in January. <laughs> that's the that's the Technica and the Storado. Correct. Yeah. And then your Urus next week. The Urus S. Uh, the, S so the Urus Performante next week. The, the Urus Ascenza. Ah, oh, so the blue one's not ready yet. Uh, I don't one. believe so. Okay. And then but, but the green one is January. Okay, yeah. Yeah. The 360s all arrived. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have about 10 of the same, well, 10 V10 platforms. So yep. you got your four R8s yeah. and seven Huracans. <laughs> you know, like, what do you say? There's a naked rise. But, uh, in my defence, Your Honour, uh, the 60th, the 60th anniversaries. Um, I'm speculating that the ridiculousness of the SVJ 63, which I turned down, and then Arthur supposedly sold one for two million dollars. I've decided not to turn down any limited editions that I've been offered, even though they're just a regular edition and okay. a number. So that's your reasoning. That's my reasoning, Your Honour. Okay. <laughs> Okay, we have made it to Barbagello. The Aston Martin dealership is where we are. Over here, you'll see the DBS 770. What a spec. Not bad. And then behind me, you've got the Blue Shadow Cullinan. So one of 62 ever made. It's actually the first produced in the world. Uh, we're gonna go move to the next showroom, which is the Lamborghini showroom. And uh, yeah, two Huracans and an Urus. All very cool specs, very unique cars. The um, one of 60 anniversary collection, so they're pretty cool. Pretty cool color choices. Ones I wouldn't have normally chosen myself. Uh, the Rolls is very special. The Blue Shadow. Uh, that Aston Black and Blue turned out way better than we could have thought. Uh, incredible looking car. Very completely contrasting to the other Aston we have. There's white and red on the inside. So yeah, very exciting. All right, so we're on our way now. We're in the Evo Spider at the moment. Sounds gorgeous. 
obviously that naturally aspirated V10 with no roof. And uh, we're on the way back to the showroom to give you a full in-depth look at each car we've just picked up. So guys, we've just made it back to the warehouse where we store all the vehicles. Obviously, all the craziness of being at the dealership, a lot of moving parts, a lot of moving cars, a lot of bodies around. Didn't really have much time to really show you through. So, just like our last delivery video, we've got all the cars lined up. I'm gonna kind of take you one to one. Starting with the DBS 770 Volante. This is one of two DBS 770s we're gonna be receiving over the next week. This, we went for uh, obviously gloss black exterior, black carbon throughout, and a very, very, very bright blue interior. Ethos kind of behind this was matching it. Uh, I guess the evil twin um, from the last video, you would have seen our matte white with red interior Aston V8, uh, V12 Vantage convertible. This is, I guess, the ying to that yang or vice versa. Really, really cool car. We've got a Quicksilver exhaust coming for this. It's not as agile, as the Vantage, obviously it's more a GT, more a Cruiser, but I mean, it's, it's coming into summer here in Perth, so it's gonna be absolutely magic. The black, I think, looks pretty good. We've got a black Aston uh, AMR Vantage as well, so Aston's really suits subtle colors, the blacks, the grays, the whites. This one looks really good. Moving on to the second one is our Evo Spider, the 60th anniversary edition. It's painted in blue Le Mans, and it's obviously got the white racing stripes, a bit like a Dodge Viper, if you will. Uh, this one, again, you cannot really go wrong with a Huracan. That naturally aspirated V10 without the roof sounds tremendous. Really looking forward to enjoying this throughout the summer months. On to our next Huracan, which is our second STO of the collection. In this particular color though, Grigio Telesto, one of those original colors from the old Mercia Lagos and Gallardos back in the early 2000s. It will look very similar to Nardo Grey, which you might find on the Audis, but it really, really suits this car, this body shape, along with a lot of carbon fiber and gloss black features across the roof. It's a great, great looking car. It's, I guess, our little Batman, Batmobile, sorry. Our third Lambo of the delivery week is Urus Performante. Uh, this is actually our first time experiencing a Performante. You might think, okay, cool, look, an Urus is, is very, very capable already. How much more capable can a Performante be? Guys, I've probably put 15, 20 kilometers on it so far. It is a completely different animal. What Lamborghini has created here is, honestly, nothing short of mind-blowing. I mean, the, the, the steering feels so alive, the chassis, chassis feels so alive, even when you're going at, at freeway speeds. The turn-in, obviously, due to the rear-wheel steering, it is absolutely tremendous. I know supercars that will not turn into a corner like, like, a, like the Urus Performante does. Genuinely mind-blowing experience, uh, and we really, really look forward to getting to know this car and developing a really, really fun relationship with it. I think it might embarrass a lot of the supercars that are um, in the showroom here. Color-wise, not too sure. We'll call it baby blue. But really looks fantastic, again, with the black accents, the carbon. This is the fourth Urus in the collection. Um, one's white, one's blue, one is orange. The orange one is actually going for a 1016 wide body kit at the moment at Beyond Custom. So that should be done in about a month. Be really cool to put side by side very shortly. But the final car, oh, sorry, not the final car, but the fifth car of our collection week is the Cullinan. Now, I know we finished our last video on a Cullinan as well. They're a special beast, guys. Whether you think they look like a London cab or you just think they're a fun, fun vehicle, that's exactly what they are. This particular one is called a Blue Shadow. At a particular point uh, at Rolls-Royce, um, very similar to, I guess, the tailor-made program with Ferrari, they will offer customers, certain customers, very, very special limited editions. This one's called a Blue Shadow. So it's one of 62 in the world. The very first one that's ever been uh, delivered to a customer. Dark blue exterior with a little kind of light blue pinstripe. Um, not much else exterior-wise to differentiate it from any other Cullinan, but when you open the interior, this is where all the magic really, really lies. 
So this spec is very, very, very unique. Obviously it is the four seater option. And guys, the piece, the very, very special piece in this car is this Starlight. Now you might be wondering why are there blue, white twinkle stars in the roof and a giant moon? One of 62, the blue shadow, basically, uh, it's 62 uh, kilometers between Earth and where, I forget the actual term for it, but how, the, basically the line where it goes from black to blue in the sky, obviously once you uh, pass through our atmosphere, and that's also highlighted on the gradient on the dashboard here. So you'll see black through to obviously pale white and pale blue, and it's really, really fun. At this level, yeah, it's just about fun, little re you, really unique touches when it comes to Rolls-Royce. Uh, our second Rolls-Royce is coming next week and that's a Platino model on the Phantom. Extended wheelbase and all the interior is silk. Crazy to think, but again, one of those really, really limited edition Rolls-Royces that we've been very, very fortunate enough to be offered from the factory. Cullinans, you can't beat them. However, I'm gonna show you now in the next showroom, our sixth delivery. You might have caught a little bit of a glimpse earlier. Uh, we took delivery of the Countach yesterday, 100, one of 112 in the world, based off uh, basically the sister to the Lamborghini Cyan and based off the Aventador. So 800 horsepower, follow me through here. I'm gonna show you the other showroom, the Countach, and we're gonna take it for a little bit of a spin. So on the way to the Countach, there's a couple of goodies sitting inside. Mansory F8 Spider, STO, supercharged Audi R8 with a bunch of 1016 Industries parts. 765, two Bentleys, which obviously you've seen in the previous video. And then a few more other toys inside. Elva, Aventador, two Maybachs. Another Aventador, this one's an Ultime, uh, it's Ultime Coupe, we have an Ultime Roadster as well. And then, of course, the Countach. In all its glory, what a gorgeous, gorgeous car. Obviously it is, obviously it is based off the Aventador, but it's such a different machine. And we've got a fancy white key as well. It's very kind of reminiscent of, of the Diablo, actually. I think more than, in, you know, it's got a lot of Diablo elements as well as Countach. It's a stunning car. In person, really knocks your socks off. Obviously, the white and traditional red interior, a fantastic combination from the throwback of obviously the old QV Countaches and the 25th anniversary Countach. Uh, yeah, it's a stunning car. So let's get it out. Let's go for a drive. Um, that way you kind of be able to see it in the light. Very, very familiar uh, set of instruments and very, very familiar uh, layout, obviously being based off the Aventador. Now that platform is, you know, over a decade old now, so uh, it's in need of a dire update. Uh, however, with the Cyan and the Countach, they've kind of implemented, being the stepping stone model between Aventador and Revelto, they've incorporated the central screen here from the Evo Huracan. Obviously the Huracan to the Evo Huracan, biggest difference interior-wise is this center stack, and they've included that in this. For those who have used that, you'll know on a day-to-day -day basis, it's a lot easier to read. One thing I will say is it's still very laggy, which is a bit unfortunate. It was hopefully is um, fixed on the rear wheel toe. But yeah, it is what it is. And for those who are playing on daily driving, I guess the Huracans with this, makes sense. The red here is, is gorgeous. We're really into our bright interiors these days. Obviously, it's very, very popular in the Middle East, very popular in the US. Not so much done here in Australia, so we're trying to change a little bit of that. What differs as well, compared to a normal Aventador or the Aventador platform, is this little sunroof that you see above my head. 
Now that is a, uh, it can go frosted or clear at the press of a button. And yeah, functionality wise, that is all really that differs between the eventual platform and this Countach. Overall, it's a comfortable ride. Um, this one is even in coarser mode. It's still quite subdued in terms of exhaust noise. Um, but we're going to change that very shortly with the Gintani exhaust. So it should be the first uh, Countach in the world with a Gintani exhaust. Again, single clutch uh, gearbox. And that very familiar V12 noise that we uh, know and also love. So there you have it guys, that is all six deliveries for this week. Each one is special in its own right, obviously. However, this Countach is another beast. There's two in Australia, obviously one in Perth, which we're very fortunate enough to have here. Uh, yeah, let us know which one is your favorite that we've taken delivery of this week. Me personally, it's that Perth Manta Urus. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next video.